is a third sonata, ballad, one of the favorite pieces of uh, violin in repertoire, and I've been playing it since I was 13 or 14. Uh, so when I was a teenager and I thought about that th the fact that ballad is supposed to be a story, and I remember being a kid practically, I invented for myself all this system of the images and uh, the characters and a bit of a story, and of course we cannot possibly know what is I had in mind, but uh, nevertheless I think for that for a performer it's important to have some clear idea about what what am I am, what am I doing. Uh, not for every type of music, but I think that for Isaiah and Ballad especially, uh, that would work. So, the beginning, to me, it's something it's, it, the, of the, um, you know, the beginning of the story which just sets the stage for it. So, it sends you far, far, it's far, time, uh, far back, far back in the medieval times and uh, in the darkness, uh, the first... Uh, first violin phrase sort of awakening in this dark, dark atmosphere. And it's very mysterious, the first part, and, and uh, here you could see or feel some moving, some movement of, of strange objects. Here it becomes to be uh, more clear, it's sort of the first star in the sky. And then you feel something is growing and coming to be much more present. Here, actually, the uh, story starts, so you see the first and main character, the hero, so it sounds very heroic, and at the music you feel some sort of reminiscence of the, uh, of the Renaissance music, and it's some character of that. Of course, it's very different, it's, it's a completely different music language, but you could feel something about it, and the image which I have is about that. <laughs> Here, uh, it uh, could be sort of, of the feminine theme, but uh, it's, to me it's rather this hero's feelings towards the lady. And then, that's a funny thing, of course, but that's what I 
felt when I was a teenager. So if you have a good ballad, good story, what do you have? The the bad guy uh, um, takes away the the fiance of the hero. So that's usually what happens. So here she is, and and uh, that his sort of idea of her. So here he enters in the dark world, the realm of, of the black magic. And being, though, directed by the uh, Ariadna's thread. Here you feel sort of these mysterious little lights out of the swamp, menacing. Here, it's really a <laughs> funny thing, but in many fairy tales of my childhood, I remember there was a moment when the hero comes into the puppy's field and he falls asleep. So that's what I feel here. He really starts to fight uh, his, his uh, willingness to sleep and then he can't stand anymore and he falls asleep and his weird dream starts. <laughs> Now he feels he starts to wake up and uh, here he is and he remembers what is he going for and he continues his journey. This is the final moment, the battle. So he's the two uh, fighters run one against another, and it all resolves uh, with the final stroke. Who has won? We have to guess. <laughs> 